Hey everyone, today I'm going to be talking about some new adapters that came out for ControlNet. Specifically, I want to talk about the style transfer adapter. I did a video a while back where I combined style transfer with EB synth and got some interesting results. And I had a lot of people asking me how I did the transfer style, but now Stable Diffusion allows for this through ControlNet and these adapters. If you're not familiar with how to download Stable Diffusion or ControlNet, I will add some links in my description of videos where I talk about how to install that. So this is what it does. You get the original image and you put in a style image and it creates something very cool like this. Yeah, so you got the original here and then this is what it does. So as you can see, it's following the outline and that's going to make sense in a little bit once we go into Stable Diffusion. Um, here's another one uh, that I I haven't gotten to work for some reason. Uh, I just maybe I have to change something, but basically what it does, it creates a color palette. And from that color palette, it uh, creates another image using those colors. So like right here, this is the original image. It reads all these colors here and then it creates this. So you put an image here, it kind of pixelizes it and then it applies it to the new image. The way you get these is, I'm gonna put the link in the description. It's in the Hug and Face website and the ones I wanna download, it's the ones that are like the newest where it says four days ago. Downloaded the style adapter right here. And then I also downloaded the color one. Again, I can't get it to work yet, but I downloaded those two. Once you download it, you wanna go into your stable diffusion folder. You wanna to go to extensions. You wanna go into control nets, models, and then you save it into here. Once that's done, you come into stable diffusion. You go into extensions, check for updates. If you're behind, then apply and restart UI and then come back into image to image. You can do this with text to image as well. It's a very similar process, except you don't have this window here that is used for image to image. So, so yeah, so the first thing I want to do is I'll put an image in here. Let's put this guy running. Uh, let's make sure that I have the right dimensions here. You want to come down to control net. You want to start off with something that's going to create the outline of this image. And I'll explain to you why in a bit. So you want to make sure you enable, use canny, canny here, and then control canny right here for the model. And then let's go to a second control net. If you don't have multiple control nets here, the way you do that, you come into settings, come into control net, and then right here it says multi control net max models amount. Then you put the amount that you want, then you apply settings, reload UI. So we come back here, we come to our second control net. Press enable, go into, let's go to head, head here. And then for the last one, we're going to enable this. We're going to need to go to clip vision. And then we're going to go to style T2 I adapter style in here. We're going to put the style that we want. In my case, I'm going to try out starry night by Van Gogh. If you really want this style to show up in the final image, you want to make sure you bump this up all the way. And I'm going to show you the reasons why. So as you can see it's, it's heavily being influenced by this. If you put prompts, it will affect the final output. But for now, I'm just going just straight up just directly. When you put the denoise straight really high, it pretty much ignores the original image. However, when we have canny enabled, and head enabled, it creates these outlines. And so now Stable Diffusion is not being guided by this image when we have it all the way up here, but it's being guided by these outlines now. If you come down to Canny and you bring down the threshold and you generate your image, it's gonna create a way more details in its outline. What also would affect the final output is the weight and the guidance start. The guidance start basically tells you when it will start to be influenced by this. So if you put it halfway, it's going to be influenced by half the amount. If you start to bring the denoising strength down, it's going to go back to being led by this original image. So you're going to start to see less of this in the final image. See, it's going more towards here, but you still see a little bit of the colors from the style. Typically, the higher you go, the more style you're going to see in the final output. And uh, what happens when you bring up the CFG scale? Oh, yeah. It kind of makes it a look a little more like this. 
but it also makes the image a lot more blurry, unfortunately. So you want to make sure you have this at a low amount. Yeah, I mean, it looks pretty cool. It's definitely influenced by the painting. Uh, this is without uh, Kenny. It's just getting this outline. Uh, there's so much you can alter here. It's so crazy and it looks like it's so much fun. Because then uh, you can mess around with the settings. Let's say I introduce Kenny back in, but I want this to have like a way lower weight. Let's say 0 0.5. Yeah. So it gave it a little bit more detail, detail that this was, this one was missing. Yeah, this is very cool. It doesn't look like him, uh, like the original image, but let me see. Um, let me see if the prompt changes it at all. Yeah, once you introduce prompts, we do start to see some changes and it starts to be influenced by that prompt. If you put the guidance strength to, let's say, 0.2 you're probably gonna see a little bit less of this style on here yeah so slightly less and if you push it a little bit more let's say let's push it hard like let's say 0.5 let's see what we get you see it's it's reducing more and more but uh yeah it doesn't look bad it starts to align a little bit more with these lines and whatever style you have whatever checkpoint you're using and also the prompts oh, that's pretty cool i added a different style down here another image right here to kind of follow and uh yeah i actually followed it pretty well yeah so this is some of the results you can get with these styles um i kind of wish it was more of these colors it's getting like the shapes right but not really the colors but uh yeah, I'm gonna be messing around with it more. I would just say play around with the settings some more. You can play around with the weights for the outlines and how much you want each of these to influence the final image. And yeah, it's a very cool tool. I still need to play around with it. And obviously, how can we apply this to video? I can already tell you this, like this will look like a total mess at the end because it's gonna be so flickery. It's gonna be so crazy. So I did a test already and this is the results that I got. I think for certain clips, not this one because there's just too much movement, but for certain clips, you can combine this with EB Synth. The problem that I used to have before is that I couldn't get a style that was consistent with Stable Diffusion. Here it's not consistent either, but they look similar. Like some of these look similar to each other. And if you can get the ones that look very similar to each other and run them through EV Synth, you can get some really good results. I have some videos on uh, combining Stable Diffusion with EV Synth so that you can check out and it should appear above. I will definitely make a video trying to use this with EV Synth, but for now, I just wanted to introduce the tool first and then we can mess around with EV Synth later. It's jittery, this is what I expected, but, um, I think it's still cool that this is available to us. Um, we don't know what kind of advancements are going to happen in the next couple of weeks or months. So having this tool available, if anything, for just like, if you want to just do one image, then, you know, this is, a, this is your answer to that. Um, for video, we're not there yet. Um, but maybe this is a step forward for that. So as you know, all this tech is moving so fast and, uh, I will, Come back to this and try to mess around with it see if i can make something that looks consistent and still have a style so we'll see i'll work on it but uh yeah all right everyone take care god bless Peace.